This is Jason Rankin, the 30. Last Sunday was Windsor's second Christmas Comic Con, bringing out 3,000, some suited up as their favorite comic book heroes like Batman, Iron Man, and Captain America, and letting them meet the artists that draw them. Oh, it feels great, right? You feel, you feel like Batman, you're like, I'm Batman. <laughs> uh, today's all about fun. I mean, it doesn't matter how, how big, how small, you know, uh, young and old, uh, everybody's here having a great time. Uh, whether you come in costume or whether you don't come in costume, you come to see the cosplayers or whether you are a cosplayer. Uh, the fascination with the subject matter is just so broad reaching at this point uh, that it truly is an all ages family event. These, these events are extremely important and this was a great con. Uh, it's, it's a one day event and it's compressed into six or seven hours filled with people. These are very important because as a comic illustrator you tend to work in a vacuum you know, three or four o'clock in the morning, you're sitting over your comic desk all by yourself, and it's really satisfying to come out to an event like this and have people buy the product, and they, beyond just buying the current product, they know your past product, so you understand that, wow, these people have actually read my books, they mean something to them. For me, it was the perfect opportunity for me to bug my favorite artists about what comic books meant to them. It's a really broad question what, what comics mean to me. I, I think, uh, you know, on, on one hand, they mean an income to me, and they mean uh, a livelihood for my family, and uh, you know, stability, and, and it's my job. And you know, on the other hand, I've been a comic book fan my whole life. I love the characters. Being able to work on, you know, Spider-Man or Batman or or the Avengers is like a, it's a childhood dream, and I, I feel like I get to live it every day. Most recently, comics, uh, it's my life now. It's you know, it's. It's my it's my job. It's my career. It's uh, but it's also something that I've worked for uh, and towards my entire life. Uh, I've been working towards this goal since I was uh, you know a little kid. Well, comics for me they helped me growing up. They they helped me learn to read, so they were extremely valuable to me. And that's why I actually work in comics at, at this point. Gla through Glass Monkey, the, the current uh, publisher of, of The Incredible Conduit and Improbabilia and Apes in the Woods, the whole mandate, excuse me, of the company is to get kids reading again. It's also like, you know, part of my expression. It's, uh, I love drawing heroic tales of superheroes battling against evil, and, and I love telling story, and I, and I love doing it through a visual medium. It really is a lifestyle. Since I started in 2000, this is it. You know, I draw the comics, I come out to events, and it, it never seems to leave you. Comic culture has seen a rise in popularity over the past few years. Just last year, Marvel's The Avengers became the world's third highest grossing film. It's not just your stereotypical geek who's a comic book fan now. It's, you know, it's the guy who works at Chrysler. It's the you know, the well-to-do executive, you know, it's the teacher, the high school principal, you know, and, and also the little kid who's growing up watching these shows, now he's getting into comic books. Um, I think that the culture toward comic books has changed simply uh, based on, uh, uh, not the comic book sales, unfortunately, uh, it's that in other forms of media, uh, the films, the video games, uh, things like that, the toys, certainly. Uh, these characters have been around now for 40, 50 years, Spider-Man, uh, Batman, certainly longer, Superman, certainly longer. And it's just reached a point where everybody's kind of grown up with these characters and accepted them. I, I think the biggest change is really the movies. You know, it's, it's become so much bigger than the comics themselves. And when I started, we were doing comics and we kind of had our own little thing and everybody else ignored us. And now... Uh, and people are still ignoring us, <laughs> for the most part. You know, it's really difficult to get people to read anything. But the characters have just blown up, and you know, there's so much more awareness of, of everything Spider-Man's about, and Batman, and you know, the Avengers now everything. Um, and that's that's a good sign. It just to me that really shows that you know the culture is expanding, and and it's uh, it encompasses a lot bigger group than what it may have been like 20 years ago. What makes my comic connect, uh, convention unique is that I try and put the focus back on the comic books. Especially the bigger conventions, uh, uh, the focus has been lost. Now it's all on the movies themselves and things like that. You know, and the comic books have been relegated to one corner. Uh, I want to put the focus back on the books because without the writers and the artists themselves, we don't have these great comic books, you know, that we've all enjoyed these characters they're in. And not just diehard fans, that's everybody. Uh, well, it was great today. Thanks to Mike Michalski for putting this on again for the second year in a row. Uh, it's three times the size, at least, probably, of the first one. A lot more people showing up, a lot more vendors, more space. Everything is like double 